Okay, guys, welcome to episode three of um this blank dream series. So I messed up, and I tried a little bit of this before, and I had to delete the episode because a uh, crop file, and I forgot that I saved on my original file, so everything got kind of mixed up. So I'm gonna go through a run through of what you guys missed that I did. So basically, I just used the key to get into this door. Took a left. Well, took a right. Went all the way. I talked to him. He's looking for a certain thing. That pumpkin kills you if you go near it. And I grabbed a hammer from there, and there used to be a doll here. So, this doll does follow me. <laughs> there you are. So, what we need to do, because if you read this clue here, it says play the sound of the iron smirk and stuff, but if no one is seated, it is worthless to do. So what we want to do is pet the thing's head and get it in the seat. Now, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to explain a little bit of something. I'm trying to get this series done as quickly as I possibly can for the reason of I have a different horror series that I want to get going. It being um, Silent Hill for the Room, because I've heard from a couple of buddies that it is kind of a really good game. I actually haven't played it yet, so that's kind of why I want to get that played. Now, I'm not... I'm still... I'm not sure of the pattern I'm supposed to do this in. I've been trying to figure out for a while. But I'm going to try this, what I'm doing here. Something happened, there we go. Okay. So, that was a... There was a loud sound somewhere. Let's go figure out what this loud sound was. Oh, we killed the pumpkin. It was full of blood. Okay, pieces of the pumpkin and a bag of candy are spilling out from under the fallen ceiling. Take the candy! Okay, check the candy to be safe and picked up the bag. Oh, what? Oh, fuck! Oh, frick! No. Whoa, pumpkin! Well, I guess we're gonna go do that again. Because the pumpkin decided to come back from the dead and kill me. So this is the realm of love, I guess. You know. <laughs> lovely stuff. Oh. Come on, follow me. You gotta sit on the chair. You little stupid thing. I gotta play your goddamn music again. Yes! Now stay there! So it is... Me... do -ri. And then do me, and then do me. Boom! The roof collapsed, which is lovely. So let's go pick up our candy again. Take the candy. That stop. So run, 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 run. That pumpkin is fast. Go save there just in case, because as we're realizing, I screw up a lot. Me do or do me. Sigh. I want something sweet, huh? You want to be the smiling soul? They're in here, but I don't want to let you in for free. It's my turf. You have anything to offer as tribute? Candy. Oh, you're giving me this nice stuff. I'll take it. Then, go on ahead. Thank you, bud. Oh, now we got another creepy person in here. Pretty flowers... The Smiling Soul? Yes, that's me. I am the Seeker of Love. A regular of the Crack the Smile dinner party. Oh, but your face is awfully stiff. I can't look. Let's train your smile a bit. This is going to kill me, isn't it? Okay. Now, let's make things more fun. Death is beautiful, pain is pleasure, gratitude for sadness. Today, we shall cut up a b and boil a pig's heart. See, it's getting more and more fun. Not yet, I'm afraid. Much too stiff. Come, let's keep practicing. Sure. 
Now let's make things more fun. Beds are coffins, light them aflame. Are those legs? If only all our blood could be orange juice. See, it's getting more and more fun. What am I playing? It seems to have loosened up a bit, but it's hard to call it a natural smile. Once more. Now let's make things more... Star, star, star. Blessed. Sterilized cubes of meat. The corner was yesterday. I was hungry. Therefore, I bit off the pinky. See? Something getting more and more something. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Well, barely eligible for a cracked smile dinner party, I suppose. Ah, I just had a good idea. It may clear up your sniffness, stiffness in one go. Let's try it. It's very simple. This is always the best solution for hard things. Um, the smiling soul turned the hammer toward Mizuro's face and swung it down. Great. Great! I knew I should have just stopped. Ah! <sighs> Smashed my face in with a hammer, eh? Yes, you want something sweet, blah, blah, blah. Here's some candy. Let me go in. I'll just say that's enough and I'll go into the dinner party. I'll say okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, you may go again. Blah, blah, blah. Bunch of more dark, messed up stuff. Okay, you've said enough. Um, that's enough. Ah, very well. Don't let your smile break, or it'll make the attendant attendees uncomfortable. Okay. You're dead? What happened to you? My, my, my. Bonjour, madame Marie. Um, will you be attending the Cracked Smile dinner party, young madame? Yes. I see a bit stiff, but a fine smile you have. That warped smile is perfect for this party. Go right ahead, madame. I guess there was clues in how to do that the whole time. Madame, it seems one person in the hall is an immature, oh, is an immature who does not have the right to attend, laying with their mouth their smile fake, one who does not truly enjoy the party. If you should find them, you are free to do as you please with them. Fun! The hell kind of party's this? This isn't my kind of party. What do you say? The boiled fish meal wasn't to my liking. The sauces made it too... Well, made it much too sour. Mizuro felt deeply unpleasant. Uh, what was that pizza again? The meaty one. It was quite delectable. Haha. <laughs> smile. Mizuro's smile twitched. Am I going insane? Why n not get elegant with some wine and cheese? A toast to the fresh blood of Venus. Mizuro began to feel strange. Okay, smiling, happiness, pleasure. We who gather here seek these things unconditionally. Mizuro began to feel the world so pleasant. Uh-huh. I think everything's just messed up. Astounding the range of colors in those dishes. Feeling a little sick now, so I'm catching the breeze. Smile. Mizuro broke. Well, I guess we shouldn't smile at everybody. I guess that's just stupid. Okay, so there's somebody in here. Okay, I've seen the smile spirit before coming. The third round was tough, but now I can smile. You are the imitator, aren't you? Die! Imitator. Not immature, an imitator. Sorry. Okay, that wasn't an imitator. So, I, I got to find the imitator. I don't think I can tell just by looking at the faces. You're the imitator like... Oh, you're an imitator like me, huh? Then take this. I don't need it. What's through the door isn't something I'm after. I get the wary key? I braved the danger to come here, but I was off the mark. Now what to do? 
Um, can I not go through there? That girl's been sneaking around strangely. Is she an imitator? The crack smile dinner party needs no imitators. A uh, hammering for uninvited guests. Okay, no. Break this. Go. Oh. I don't like this place. It's my own reflection. Let's go. And off ourselves in here too. This game is just dark and saddening and this is ten years ago. How far back we gotta go? Okay, this is childhood life at home. A familiar place appeared before Mizuro's eyes. I'm a little girl. Oh, Mizuro, I'm still getting ready for your party, so wait there a little longer. Don't bother your dad and grandpa too much. Sure thing. An electric outlet. But your grandpa. Mizuro, you've gotten big. It's me, your grandpa. Only saw you when you were this little. Might as well be the first you've seen of me, eh? Turning six today. Once you get into elementary, you'll learn all kinds of stuff. Happy birthday! Been a while since you've seen Grandpa, huh? You were so small then. Maybe you don't remember. But sure, uh, be sure to say hi to him. Well, I did. A TV. It doesn't get much use at this home, so a small one suffices. Mizuru found tweezers at the back of the drawer. Take them. I'm guessing we're going to hurt ourselves with tweezers. Do we really have to off ourselves as a little girl? Just to be clear, Dad, today only. I know that's enough for me. For the rest, you can do as you like. How's it going with your wife? <laughs> Sorry, she's no longer uh, you see. She won't have anything to do with me now. Then how about with Tamaki? Doubt she wants to can oh to contact. Oh, don't you want me to contact her? Even if it involves money, nothing. There's too much I want to say, but today's a happy day. Let's knock it off for Mizuru's sake. As you please. What's going on with them? Oh, Mizuru's still getting ready for your party. It's dangerous to insert any metal, especially if you happen to have wet hands. Oh, we're gonna wash our hands. Wash hands. Oh, you're, you wash your hands without telling me? Make sure to dry them off. Insert tweezers. Really? Means you suck the tweezers in the outlet. I just slaughtered a six year old girl. Do you know how horrible I feel? Okay. Didn't think we'd get any darker. Misro came to again standing before the mirror. Though she felt her muscles stiffening, there was no sign of numbness in her limbs. Yes. I was only a child with three family members. My mom, Chika, my dad, was Sinji. And on my sixth birthday, my grandfather, Rinzu, came to visit. It was a fairly distant memory, but somehow, I feel like it was a really fun day. But just as Mizuru gained a piece of her memory, she felt as though she'd lost something important. Why was the grandfather only there for a day? Oh, we got something shiny to pick up. Oh, silver key! Silver doors! <laughs> whoa, 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 mm -mm. No! <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. The game is... Cool. Cool story. Cool concept. This little girl thing, or the little thing's trying to kill me? Not cool! Okay. Oh no, this is just creepy. Shoe racks, but no shoes. Well. I don't even know what it clicked. I thought I was just gonna say the same thing. Experienced the fifth mastery. What did it say? A Shira carrying a curse. Oh. Okay. That's cool. Run statue of an old man. Experience the first mastery. Okay. The second mastery. The portrait in the reception room will attack students who sneak in to cause trouble. 
Um, I'm not sure what that means. Okay, let's uh, take a look. Is that the portrait? It says some kind of certificate on display. <laughs> Experience the second mastery. And escaped it. That one didn't spook me near as bad. Won't open. It's locked by a mysterious force, not a lock. The seventh mastery. One who personally witnesses mysteries. One to six will be led to the locked away mirror. Cool. I don't like this. This is just creepy. The sixth mastery is a forgotten classroom. There's a room with an entrance that can't be seen. I heard it somewhere around the bathrooms, but I'm not interested enough to look myself. Okay, have you seen the statue walking in the halls? The fifth mastery is called the moving stat first, the moving statue. Plenty have seen the statue itself, but nobody ever seen it moving. Man, if I found it, I'd give it a good kick. Crap on a cracker. You wanna kill me? Break that. The third mastery, if there's sheet music on the music room's piano, it'll start playing by itself. A piano. In contrast to the dusty, there's no stain on it. Da -da -da. The third mastery, sheet music, portrait from the new person, staring into space, staring into space, staring into space. So I gotta find sheet music. Good to know. Where am I gonna find sheet music? Freak off, game! Okay, the fourth mastery is Magico of the Toilet. Do you know of it? In the girls' bathroom, if you knock three times on the far left door and say Magico, Magico, she'll come out. I'm not going to try it, though. Okay, you've seen three of the seven mysteries, miss. Are these illusions or embodiments of attachment? I've seen three of seven. And I want to see all seven. Fuck stick! Ugh. Realm of Spirits is what this is called. Oh, this game just. Box with my head. Why wasn't he here this time? The fifth mastery. There's a single cursed shoe rack in the entryway. Well, I seen it. Wait. Woman's bathroom. Far left. Knock three times. Machico, machico. Am I gonna die now? Mizra opened the door, but no one was inside. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> Experience for the mastery. I don't want to touch it either. That was creepy. Crap! Why did he show up now? I thought he was gone. Does he just show up once in a while? Can you like, if he's there, exit and go back? Look. Okay. So now we gotta do the whole mes well machiko machiko thing again. Let's go and then machiko machiko. Open the door, but no one's gonna come out. We're gonna walk. We're gonna get jump scared again. Boom! <laughs> because why not? Christ sakes! Go back. Go back. No, no, I couldn't. Why not? I heard there's something supposed to be near the bathrooms. I'm clicking every angle I can. No, no, you couldn't, but you must. Um, maybe it's not wise to approach. 
but we're not going to. We will if we save, but unless we don't, but if we don't save, no, I'm not risking that. So, let's go try now. Because we saved. Should be safer than ever to look into a stall, because even if we die, we can just go back. Uh, Mizuru really has a bad feeling. Okay, she was right. Don't look in the stall. Yep. Do, 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 do. Boom. Da, 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 da. That laugh was awful. Gonna say that. <laughs> it said there is a classroom near bathrooms that doesn't have a door. There it is. I don't like this. Experience the sixth mastery. Okay. Whoo! That was spooky. Normal spirits. Uh, the second mastery. Okay. Then I'm backtracked. There's nothing here. The door's gone. Well, fudge. Okay. Okay, I got the forgotten classroom. I got the first. I know I don't get all of them. What am I... A sheet music one. I know I'm missing that. Where's the sheet music? Maybe it was back in that classroom and I didn't pick it up. I'm guessing. So let's go back to the class. That paper must be sheet music. Uh, yep. Sheet music! I can't get back out that way. Guess not. Guess I'll just loop around. No big deal. Put the sheet music down! Music put the sheet music on the stand. Piano again to be play itself. It's beautiful. The third mastery. They seem to be focused on the sound of the piano. And now, I need the seventh mastery. Which, in order to see the seventh, I gotta go back to that door right there. So I've seen the other six. And there's our mirror. Hallelujah. Six years ago, in elementary school. What grade would we be in? We're ten years of age. About. UZ, are you coming too? We're going to explore Ghost Lake. You're s oh, you're such a fad follower, Cochin. It's just a rumor, okay? Same as the school's seven mysteries. That's not true. They found a body there last year, remember? And last week, they found another. Which means the demon of the ghost lake is making people throw themselves in. That's just coincidence. It's a pretty deep lake, so everybody just picks it up. Well, picks it to offs themselves. No, that's not it. They say the body they found last week died exactly one year after the one from last year. Which means one year later, at the same time, the same place, somebody's gonna die again. And both victims were students from the same middle school for real. It was on the news. I can't call that a coincidence. Yeah, it is a little strange that somebody from the same school would die exactly a year later. The Ghost Lake wants sacrifices. That's got to be an evil ghost using black magic. We should ex exterminate it. All right, I guess it's worth checking out. Feels more like a plot than a ghost, but I'll go. All right, Turikuo. Oh, next. I'm going to try to pronounce this. Tuhuiko. Turuiko. Try that. Now let's get going. I don't even know if I'm correct. Yuzi, you come into the, oh, come to the station later. You seem like you'd like this stuff. Why? Why am I called Yuzi? Oh, Mizuro Yurio or something. I don't freaking know. Boys are into that kind of thing, huh? It's kind of scary to think people are dying on the same day each year. I don't want to get into anything weird, and if it's 
Just kids going, or parents will get mad. See you, Mizuru. You should come go home quick, and not to get involved with that kind of stuff. Okay. Why is it important that I don't get involved? Huh? What? <clears throat> where'd your Where'd my pen get to? Maybe it lost it when we played hide and seek. Whoop de frickin' do, kid. Won't open. Locker full of cleaning. Cl okay, there are lots of rooms. Not much of else of note. So nothing I can off myself with in there. Won't open. I'm supposed to find something. The shelves are contained with books for class. Looking closely, there's some library books mixed in, but nothing else out of the ordinary. Uh, looking closely, library books, nothing out of the ordinary, and just same thing, every angle. Uh, classroom got stopped. Might get stopped. Might get stopped. The classroom seems so large from the teacher's desk. Look by your feet. There's a ball point pen in the gap under your po under the podium. I think I'm supposed to give that kid his pen. Oh, my pen! Where'd you find it, Mizuru? Under teacher's desk? Oh, okay. I hid it there for hide and seek, so... Anyway, thanks for finding it. I'm gonna go home now. See you tomorrow. See ya, kid. Won't open. Won't open. The window gives a good view of a familiar town. Jump out! If you jump out, it, it'll mean seconds of terror followed by an intentious pain. Mizra opened the window and threw herself out from the third story of the school. Well, damn! Is this all about finding the worst ways to off her? That's what it looks like. Like, my god! Mizuru came to again, standing before the mirror. Though she felt a strong pain and her vision blurring, there wasn't even a bruise on her. Yes, there were rumors about the ghost lake back then. That was probably where the mirror lake rumors started. But ultimately, after the second death, there were no more incidents involving Mirror Lake. Elementary school, I seem to recall that was a pretty fun time. Just as Mizuru regained a piece of memory, she felt as though she had lost something important. She always feels like she lost something important. Anyway, we're going to end the video here for today, guys. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you thought of this episode of Blank Dream. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care, and until then.